Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I wanna to talk about a very important topic, but starting off, I wanna talk about a topic that nobody likes to hear about, which is unfortunately layoffs. And uh, it's been very bad the last couple, two years, I would say, across the globe, a lot of people in tech, a lot of people, not just in tech and basically all the industries, a lot of people have lost their jobs. And generally cybersecurity is more resilient than the other sectors because companies really cannot afford not to have security controls. But unfortunately, even cybersecurity has not been spared from layoffs these past two years, right? And if you are not aware, the list of security vendors that have laid off people, you know, it started, I think, in 2023. The list has gone, like you have Proofpoint, I think uh, Okta, Splunk, Sophos, Zscaler, Rapid7, you know, HackerOne, these are some of the most prominent firms to roll out a recent like wave of layoffs. Some have cut nearly 20% of their employees. So it's not, it has been like a kind of depressing to hear so many good cybersecurity firms losing people. And honestly, for companies, for employees at these cybersecurity companies who've been impacted by these layoffs, it's, it's quite difficult, right? But also an opportunity as other security vendors that are hiring, they'll uh, pick them up. Although the market is tough right now because it's, uh, uh, becoming very saturated, but cybersecurity is a fast growing industry. I mean, it, by 2030, it's expected to be like a trillion gazillion dollar industry. I don't know. I forgot the Gartner number that was there, but uh, just letting you know that don't ever think that you are immune from layoffs in cybersecurity. And it's very, very important to keep upskilling yourself and to keep an eye on the trends, how the market is changing, what are the new things which are coming out. And of course, if unless you've been like a sleeping in a mountain in a cave somewhere and not gone to the internet, you would have heard about AI, right? This big thing which has come and like changed everything and everybody keeps talking about it and how it's going to change the world, blah, blah, blah. I don't like to talk about too much about hype, but without any doubt, cybersecurity is getting impacted by AI, not just about market disruption, but new field which is coming up, which is AI security. And I really wanted to focus on that. I don't mean just the buzzword, AI security. I, I'm talking about why you should start learning. So this is the topic of this video, which is three reasons why if you're in cybersecurity, three reasons for starting AI security in 2024. I do not mean buying a product which says powered by AI, you know, I don't mean that. I mean learning about AI security as a separate niche. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about like three reasons why you should start learning AI security now. Like don't delay it. Don't wait until something happens. And before we move ahead, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. So the first reason one, the reason one is AI regulations are coming. And what do I mean by that? So AI has been like the bit like the wild west, you know, and companies have been free to do whatever they want, right? Within like reasonable boundaries, but not that much oversight has been there within AI. And that has led companies to create all sorts of crazy products. You know, a lot of freedom was there. And unfortunately, that, that led to a lot of problems also where AI systems made wrong decisions. If you're not aware, one guy even got arrested because the AI system made a mistake in facial recognition that was all over the news. So while the freedom on AI is there, that is about to change for a lot of reasons. The first thing, the, one of the major things which is going to happen in 2024, which is the EU AI Act, the EU Artificial Intelligence Act. They, it is said to be the first uh, proper AI law and it's going to do for AI, if you're not familiar, GDPR. Well, you know how what GDPR did for data privacy, like the whole world aligned itself with that standard. It became like a global benchmark and everybody was copying it. No matter whether you're in the UA, USA, UK, uh, Middle East, whatever, everybody was copying this standard and it became a global benchmark. Same thing, the EU AI Act is now about to just in its final phases and it sets down details on how to regulate AI systems. And if you are building an AI, if you're targeting the EU market, even if you're not targeting the EU market, if you're global, what you have to do, and it's a very good standard that is going to come up. And if you do not comply with it, you will be in violation and you could get fined quite a bit. So companies are gonna be looking for people who have these skills, right? Who know how to be make systems in compliant with this. The second one has been the release of the AI risk management framework, NIST. If you're not aware, they're like, they release these standards. They're based out of the US and their standards become international benchmarks. They released the cybersecurity CSF framework many years ago. If you have been working in cybersecurity, you would have come across NIST. There's no escaping it, right? Even 
the US government, they released an executive order and they mentioned this standard. So the AI risk management framework is coming out. People will be needed who need these skills and jobs will be coming out regarding this. And just recently, another AI ISO, you know, you know, ISO 27001, which is for cyber security, they have released their standard, which is the AI management system. And that is again, companies who are uh, selling AI products, they will want to be compliant with these sort of AI regulations, right? So these skills will be there. Uh, so people will be coming in and auditing against these standards. If you're building an AI product, customers will be asking you about this sort of compliance, right? Are you ISO certified? Are you NIST? Are you in compliance with the EU AI regulations? So th this is why if you are like uh, within the senior management of this company, you will want people who can tell you how to become compliant with this, what to do. So these skills are going to be very, very much in demand. Start upskilling now. I've launched recently a course on AI regulations. I think you can check it on my community page on YouTube about these frameworks because I know how important it is. So that was reason one. Now, reason two, which is generative AI adoption in enterprises is increasing like very, very crazily. It's going through the roof. And what do I mean by that? I mean that 2022, when ChatGPT came out, people were just talking about ChatGPT, right? That ChatGPT is so cool. Uh, it's going to change the world, blah, blah, blah. That was the hype phase. But now businesses are seriously implementing it. They are harnessing the power of Gen AI to transform how to operate and do business. They are making applications like chatbots, virtual assistants, right? The big tech companies uh, like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they have launched their own generative AI models which companies are going to be buying. So like Amazon, they have released their bedrock. Sorry, I work in Amazon, so I'm a bit biased. That's why I put Amazon here. But they have released their enterprise level offerings like bedrock, which are powered by their massive infrastructure. And believe me when I say companies are going to be implementing it. And these systems, these generative AI applications, they're going to be sitting right next to your business data. So you have like customer data on top of that, there's going to be a generative AI model, which is going to be querying it and if you are a CISO, you're going to be very worried about this, right? And this is a result of a recent survey. Like most people are concerned about generative AI's impact on cybersecurity. You know, first is number one is like what sort of malware and cybersecurity attacks are going to come out. The other one is data leakages and the other issues which are going to happen because of generative AI, right? So generative AI is having a massive, massive impact. And as these models get closer and closer to your data, if you're a CISO, you're going to be very worried, right? You're going to be thinking, oh man, what happens if this gets breached? So there are many standards for fixing these issues, right? You have the OWASP uh, top 10. I've made a video on penetration testing of AI applications for finding out things. So use something like the OWASP to find out the standards which are there. It's completely free. You can go there and get a very good understanding. I also have multiple courses on Udemy. You can check those out. So to get that knowledge because people are going to be very much in demand who have these skills okay and if you're in cyber security definitely uh, find out about things like prompt injections uh, find out how to do threat modeling of ai applications okay so that was number reason number two reason number three is cyber security automation is the future or maybe i should have written automation is the future of cyber security or maybe i goofed up <laughs> sorry for that but so what am i talking about here so think about any tasks in cybersecurity that does not require human analysts and the chances are it will be gone within the next two to three years. Sorry to say that. I'm, I didn't, I don't mean to like make you nervous or make you think that you're going to lose your job. No, the point is not that. But believe me when I say simple tasks in cybersecurity are going to go away. So if you are just running a security scan, putting an IP address there, downloading a report and emailing it to IT teams, that job is gone. Okay, I'm sorry to tell you that. Or maybe you're responding to basic security alerts, opening a ticket and closing it, that job is going to be gone. I, AI will for 100% take over those activities. They will get re replaced by basically AI powered agents that will have the ability to take action on those cybersecurity events and you will set in guardrails to control what these AI agents are doing. But without any doubt, basic activities which do not require any human oversight those jobs will get offloaded to AI agents within cybersecurity. That is the ground reality. There's no escaping it. So I, the, like I said, the point is not to make you depressed or worried. The good news is professionals will be needed who can secure these agents, who can monitor them, right? Because CSIS will be thinking about how much access is granted to these agents. How will humans monitor them? Just like we have security endpoint engineers, we will have AI endpoint engineers to monitor them. 
then to make sure their security health and nobody is compromising them, right? So these were the three key reasons I wanted to talk about. And now I hope I've given you good reasons. So how to start AI security. So by now, I hope you've, you're motivated to learning it. Think of learning AI security as an insurance policy for your cybersecurity career. AI is not going to replace you, but you will need to learn to work alongside it in the new world. So that's why you need to upskill ASAP in AI security. So you have the necessary skills. And the good news is learning AI security is not difficult. I learned it from scratch when generative AI is not even uh, known and nobody knew anything about chat GPT. I learned about it enough to write a book and to make a course on it, right? So you can too. There's nothing complex about it. I have made a complete guide. I'll put the link here. But these are the five steps. You should understand how machine learning works because that is the engine behind AI, right? Learn about biases, how data gets, uh, like how biases get introduced through data within AI and how AI systems can make the wrong decisions. Understand AI's unique attacks like membership inference, model evasion, data poisoning, right? Because they're going to become as popular as SQL injections are to web applications. Learn about the risk management frameworks like the NIST I mentioned, right? And understand AI specific security controls such as secure model pipelines and AI security testing. Like I said, there's a video I'll, I'll link there. And I'll put it in the comment section also. So I think that wraps it up. These are the three reasons you should start learning AI security in 2024. I hope this gives you a good idea. Remember, the industry will keep changing. It will keep evolving. So you need to keep evolving also. So I hope this motivated you. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.